Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a camera projection in Maya from start to finish. We will start in Photoshop, then we gonna move into Maya and render the final image and then do a basic coloring in After Effects. This tutorial is great for anyone want to learn about camera projection. So let's get started. Okay, so we are now in Photoshop. So we need to separate the box from the ground. So let's duplicate the layer then let's separate the box you just need to start selecting all the edges okay it doesn't have to be perfect but try to get as close as you can so we have the box selected okay let's cut the box from the ground Go edit cut, edit paste special, paste in place. Okay, so let's select the box and then hide it. So we can use its selection to select the ground. So let's press shift and delete. Okay, so let's select the content aware tool and press OK. This content aware tool is really helpful. Let's make our life much easier okay so let's deselect so that's pretty good but we need to connect the edges really well so let's use the clone tool to do that let's make sure it's really blend well and there's no like obvious seams and edges the better we blend the edges the cleaner the projection is gonna look and the more believable it will be Let's just adjust this section here, make sure it's blending well. Okay, so let's rename background. And let's rename the box as box. Let's make sure we are organized. Okay, so now we have the box and the background separate. That looks really good. Okay, so let's save. Okay, now before we finish the Photoshop section, let's uh, save as uh, images separately. Let's start with the background. Go File, Save As. And let's choose the JPEG. Let's name it Ground. Make sure the quality is a maximum. Okay, and then let's uh, show the box. Let's save as this image. So JPEG and make sure name it like something clear so box projection okay press ok and then we are good now we can go to Maya and start making our projection okay so we are now in Maya let's create a camera and uh, let's go to the settings of the camera the options and environment and create so let's select the image file let's select the box projection okay so we have the projection there so let's go to the camera it's really important to adjust the camera orientation to match the real camera let's keep adjusting until the grid edges matches the box okay almost there okay you can see now it's getting really close this is a really important step so we need to spend time making sure the edges are really matching well because everything after that will be based on this step so let's lock the camera so we don't move it accidentally okay let's go to perspective and let's create the box let's scale it let's move it down Let's keep scaling. So we basically want to match it. Make sure the edges are matching. Everything uh, is matching as close as we can. Okay, let's keep moving and rotating. Let's scale it to have the same width.
Okay, let's adjust the vertices and make sure they're really lining up. Let's switch to wireframe so we can have an accurate result. We basically need to move the vertices one by one to line up with the edges. I just want to adjust the camera settings to be HD 720p. Okay, let's keep moving, lining up the vertices. Okay, let's adjust this corner. Okay, seems like everything is lining up well. Okay, the next thing to do is let's create plane for the ground. Let's scale it, move it down. You want to make sure it's lining up with the bottom of the box so you can have an accurate movement. Because if it's not lining up correctly, you're going to start to see sliding. And immediately it's going to look like it's fake. Okay, let's push the image back, adjusting the depth to 500. This is not going to affect the actual projection, it's just like visually we can push the plane back. Okay, so everything uh, looks good. Let's assign a shader, the surface shader. Let's name it box projection. Okay, out color. And then file, create as projection, that's really important. And let's pick the image file. Let's choose a box. Okay, let's adjust the projection type to perspective. And also make sure we select the camera one. Let's press 6 and see the result. Okay. Now we have projection for the box. Let's create uh, another projection shader for the ground. Same method. Surface shader. Let's name it ground projection. Okay, let's pick uh, file as projection. Let's pick up the image file. Okay, let's now adjust the perspective and camera one. Okay. So let's go to the camera view and press 6. Okay. Now there is something weird at the edge. It seems it's not lining up. That's mean we need to adjust the shader. We need to adjust the fill to vertical. That seems it works really well. Okay, so let's duplicate the camera. Go to the outliner and duplicate the camera. Let's unlock the new camera. We can use this camera for animation. So let's switch to the view of the camera and let's play around with the angle to see uh, how we can animate it. You can see now the projection is working really well. We can navigate around the box and everything looks really cool. Okay, let's adjust the camera view. We basically need to keep playing around with the camera movement just to get something that looks nice and we really like it. Okay, let's keyframe in the first frame. Let's go to the last and see what angle will work best. Okay, this angle looks good. Let's see. Let's play the animation. Okay. Let's adjust it more.
Okay, let's keep tweaking. Okay, this looks good. I want to move the last frame to be the first and also the first frame to be the last. So basically reversing the camera movement. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. Just make sure we get really better perspective. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so let's save as the scene. Okay, and then let's go to the render settings. Let's make sure we're using a mental ray. So if you can't see mental ray, then go to setting preferences, plugin manager. Look for the mental ray plugin. Let's switch to mental ray and adjust the quality tab to 0 0.9. So we can have a faster render. And I like to always choose PNG. And let's name it. Let's adjust to name underscore number dot extension. Let's adjust the start and end frame. Let's make sure we're selecting the right camera. Okay, that looks good. Everything looks really good. Let's render the last frame. Make sure it looks good. Let's save this image and let's go to the first frame and render. That looks good too. So now we have the first frame and last frame looks really good. Okay, so we are ready to render. Okay, so let's switch to rendering. Let's go to the menu, render and batch render. Okay, we are now in After Effects. Let's import the image sequence. Let's select the first frame. Make sure PNG sequence is selected. Click open. Now it's imported as 30 frames per second. We want to adjust that. To go to main and then adjust the 24 frames and let's drag to new comp. And let's press space. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. Looks pretty cool. Let's adjust the coloring. Right click, effects, color collection, curve. Just play with the values of the curve. Just to have s to bring some more dark and uh, light colors. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, let's add to render. Let's render the final image. Make sure you're selecting 24 frames. Okay, and let's select uh, quick time and make sure. Uh, it's H264 for now. Press OK. And let's select the destination of the video. Click save and let's render. OK guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you basic projection tutorial. When you understand the concepts and methods I use, you will be able to do any type of projection. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.